What's up guys? This is your daily twin flame reading. I'm a Ashley Gillard. I'm an empath, intuitive. You can say that I'm a medium. I get messages and dreams from my ancestors, from many people in the spirit realm who I feel like are in my soul tribe or spiritually connected to me in some way. This could be anyone from a celebrity that's here on earth or from people who have deceased in my family to close family members and and when I say family, it's not always love. But anyway, spiritually connected and I'm in tune with my gift. And, you know, I use these, I do these twin flame readings um, to help people advance in their life and to become one with their mirror self. It's not all about relationship. Yes, relationship is a part of it. And I do help with that as well. But it's mostly about you becoming one with your mirror self so that you can live and have more life. That's what I'm on this journey for. Hopefully that's what you're on this journey for. We can come together with our divine partners and live and serve and be a vessel of light on earth. I got my gym body tea on representing my own brand today. But today's reading was brought to you by AshleyGiller.com. I have God teas on there. I have... Um, you can book a tarot reading on there. And I want to do some readings. My readings keep telling me the same story about myself. So I am relieved and I it gives me entertainment to do other people's readings. Please order a reading today. Order it right now. I deliver it via video. I don't like to do it. I feel interrupted when I'm doing it live or in person. I love to do readings. And video deliver the message and if you order it you know and there's no wait you'll get it sooner than your scheduled appointment okay so today we're just gonna we're gonna check in and if it's the same storyline I'm gonna stop the reading and I'm, I'm gonna ask specific questions like what's going on in this underneath the surface that we're not seeing what's going on in our lives underneath the surface that we're not seeing what's going on in our divine partners lives underneath the surface that we're not seeing that could help us understand what's going on right now because I'm ready for my blessings I'm ready for a forward movement in my life and my career. I'm ready to get out of lack and all me. But let me tell you about starting this business. Oh, excuse me. I have a book that I have to write um, today. So I'm going to make, yeah, that's a whole other story. But anyway, you know, I started my retail store. I have a physical location here out in Louisiana and it is taking all my coins and my next month's coins are accounted for. My October coins are accounted for as it pertains to the money that I have coming in every month. Uh, I have, and then that means November. I have a little cushion in November, but then it's also going to be accounted for because my October is accounted for. So that's going to leave me in the red. So I am, I need a miracle ASAP. I told Spirit I'm ready to get the fuck ASAP because... I am, I need a miracle, like, because, you know, and then I get mad at myself for putting myself in these situations, but, you know, I have these hunches to start these businesses and take these leaps of faith. Sometimes it works out. I don't know. Maybe it works out sometimes, but I haven't really seen it work out yet, but I definitely got into my gifts. So anyway, did not mean to get up in a tangent like that. So we just want a message from spirit to see what's going on underneath the surface with masculine and feminine energies that we're not seeing. I got this the other day. Incubation. Okay. That is a great card to have. Bottom of that imagination. Your ideas are incubating. This is so weird. Let me take it. Sorry, guys. This is so weird. Not weird, but this is so on point because the incubation card is about things happening underneath the surface, building up momentum. The other day I got um, three kings came out and incubation was the card that came out and anticipation was on the bottom of the gate. It's going to be so intense when things start manifesting for us. It's going to be so intense. It's going to be worth it. All that we've waited for is going to manifest all at the same time it's gonna feel like it was all worth it what is with this lighting um but incubation let me read some of this card let me show you guys again i love this deck look at that Ooh, child. i watched the always a witch on netflix yesterday last night i binge watched it so good i stayed up all night and watched it so good i loved it i felt so connected to it don't treat me like I def definitely took a shower. I did have some more tigers today, though, so don't judge my feelings. <laughs> my fingers. Incubation. 
Alstara. Which one is going to be here? Yeah. Alstara Incubation. Okay. Like the sun rising at spring equinox, Alstara's promise of new beginnings and fertility is on the horizon. Everything is in place to make real your desires. And remember, we got imagination on the bottom of the deck. So this is your desires. This is your... Um, Ideas. This is your the things that you are ready to manifest. It says everything's in place to make your make real your desires, but first you must allow things to unfold naturally. So spirit keeps giving me the patient part as well, and it's pissing me off because I feel like I've been patient and I'm losing it. But I guess when you lose the patience, that's when you you have to keep the patience. But at the same time, it's like I'm over this phase in my life. I'm ready for more. Anyway. But first, you must allow things to unfold naturally. The seeds planted at Invoke need time to nurture deep within the earth. And even though these seedlings may now be appearing, you are yet to witness them grow into full bloom. Huh. So have patience, as this is a time of incubation for the development of any project, wishes, spells, and dreams you have breath into, breathe energy into. Everything is simmering under the surface, and the timing is perfect to bring the best results. That which you cannot see needs to take place first in the background so you don't try to speed up the process. Just wait, trust, and allow the natural order of things to take place. Your patience will pay off. Didn't I just say that, guys? I'm motherfucking tired. Motherfucking tired. Motherfucking tired. I, I am losing. Like, this patience that they keep. It's almost offensive to hear the patience word for me. I've been patient. I've done, I feel like I've done all I can, given all that I can give. Hmm. We have to trust in divine timing. We have to trust in, we have to trust. But guys, man, this is getting hard. I mean, I'm on this, a lot of readers we're on this journey too, and I'm I'm certainly one that's on this journey too. Just cannot like I'm irritated. This is not new for me. This is, journey is not new for a lot of us. So to say be patient, I'm tired. Like seriously, what? Am, sometimes I say, what did I get myself into? Ooh, and it is so on point with um, always a witch. She was like, um, she had lost her memory or something like that during this series. And her spirit guide appeared to her. And the spirit is like, you know, you have a choice. Do you want to just forget your history? You want to forget, you know, your your ancestors? You want to forget your mission and just be a regular girl and go to college? And I'm about to cry because I resonate with that so much. Do you just want to be a regular girl and go to college and enjoy your friends and have normal problems? It's like, sometimes, some, I'm not going to say I want that because, you know, I appreciate my gifts. I appreciate everything that I've learned along this journey. But sometimes it's like, man, when I was, you know, when I just had a job, when I was, you know, AKA when I was a, a just a veteran turned college graduate, AKA working for the federal government, you know, had a husband and was just living life normally, you know, going through ups and downs and learning lessons and stuff, but having normal problems versus being on this spiritual journey, seeking spirit, sacrificing everything, sacrificing and serving myself and serving others, sacrificing everything that I've had, you know, getting gifts and insight and things of that sort into my mission and my purpose. And it's just been difficult for me because, you know, like I have, I don't even have my nails done. Like it's irritating. I'm a, I like to have my nails done. I like to have my hair done. I like to be able to go on vacation anytime I want to. I like to just be in college and, you know, worrying about my exams versus worrying about, you know, spiritual pathway to success. And so, anyway, she had a choice, and um, she said, no, I don't want this mission. The mission is a burden. Sometimes a twin flame journey is a burden. It's a burden. 
and she said she didn't want to remember so she went back and she left out but then when she seen the sacrifice of her ancestors and she seen you know her a rendition a rendition of her mother being burned at the stake and i hope i'm not spoiling it for some of you but she you know her it came back to her and her her shadow came back to her her powers came back to her oh my god it reminds me like the other day sometimes the spiritual stuff we take for granted or i take for granted like my spiritual brand but then the other day i thought someone was like stealing my ideas from me and it hurt me to my core because it's like i've been working on my spiritual brand for years i've been on this journey for years and just to see it all be taken away it really hurt so while at the same time i'm tired of this journey and i'm tired and i'm ready for more and i'm ready for new and you know and sometimes i wish i didn't do it but at the same time if it's taken away it hurts because it's a part of me now it's a part of my core it's a part of who i am i did not mean to go off on a tangent like that but i just got emotional we are chosen for a reason so we have to carry the burden along with it i gotta get myself together Alright, let's pull some cards. Ooh, let's pull some cards for the Divine Feminine. Let me try my nails and got shiny and everything. Not everybody understands. I know. Not everybody will understand. Because they're just normal people. You know, their problems is, I don't want to go to work today. Or their problem is normal shit, you know. They're, they don't have the burden of all these just pull out the spiritual pathway to success. Okay. Okay, so. Let's see. the same story come out, guys. <laughs> All right, so we have the King of Wands, we have the Knight of Cups, we have the Hangman, and we have the Dove. The King of Cups is lingering under there. I'm going to keep pulling. But, okay, so what is this? King of Wands represents, it's a lot of things that the King of Wands represents. So this could be spiritual completion. This is resolution. So it's like things are completing, you're spiritually completing a cycle or we're spiritually completing cycles and resolution is near. So, um, not to worry, I guess, but this is saying spiritual completion is near, resolution is near, even if we don't see it. Um, then we have the Knight of Cups. This King of Wands has been following my reading so much, and I've been and other people reading it as well. We have the Knight of Cups, which is offers coming in. We have the Hangman, which is new insight, clarity, bring making a decision or thinking about it while these offers are coming in, thinking about what to do about them, and making a decision to end something and to begin something else. Interesting. I don't know if I got a text message from this. She's talking about, this is my friend, <laughs> talking about um, the witch, always a witch. So yeah, it's like things are ending, things are beginning, but we're in a cycle of completion and once this is complete, you can expect some offers to come in and it's going to require you to be in tune with your higher self. It's going to require you to think. So remain balanced. Interesting. Remain solid on the rock. Mm, the Empress. I love. Okay, because we have imagination here and we have the Empress and the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Pentacles. So as things are completing and as... Uh, Offers are coming in. Things are ending. It's like focusing on your work. Focusing on things that you're creating. And I, I keep getting this in my readings as well. Um, 
building. It's time to build. But it's time to build as a partnership. So while we're Brent, my God, this reminds me, and I said this in my readings before, someone telling me that I am doing, me and him, we're doing couples visions or implementing couples visions as single people and we need to come together. I don't see myself coming together with him, but I understand what he's saying. We're building, but we should be building as a team. Twin flames are here to build as a team. It's not meant for us to build individually. We have our individual journeys and then we come together to build as a team. So this is what this is. This is building, but building and creating as a team as you complete this cycle. So these offers that's coming in, this nine of cups that you're gonna be thinking about pretty soon and then you may decide not to do with this death card here. It's like, let me move this. Making the decision to end something, but maybe more offers to come in because again, it's a time to build together, not a time to be alone, not a time to um, build singular we've been in a singular energy for a long time it's time to build as a partnership my y'all i need to wash my hair but when i took my braids down i took them down while i was washing i land on netflix yes i've been watching a lot of movies <laughs> series on netflix but i need to wash my hair anyway yeah so it's time to create and build together um, but when this offer comes in, you're going to think about it and you're going to say no. But before that, it's like, it's this Leo energy lingering. This visionary, this confidence is key. This is, Leo is confidence is key. Leo is a visionary leader. Leo, Leo is mastery of self. But I'm not getting ego energy either. Sometimes, you know, Leo's can be wanting people to feed their ego but no that's not what this is about there's some things going on sorry I'm, i dropped the card i'm not picking up well things are going on in the back background remain confident yep then i the card wasn't out here i just felt the energy i get the empress and i get the eight of pentacles here and i just felt the energy that it's about building together and what do i get next the Hierophant, because I know the deal. It's time to build together. And on the bottom of the deck with the Hierophant is the um, Chariot. It's time to move forward with this partnership. And I don't think it's you, Feminine. I, and I'm building, I'm fully for the Feminine. I don't, I don't think it's the Feminine that's holding back the partnership. Again, it, the Masculines have been the ones holding them back all this time because they only they didn't know who they were or that you know they they aren't in tune as they weren't and in tune as spiritual as we are as feminists as people who embody the feminine energy and who's been on spiritual journeys um yes we have masculine energies but like me i put my masculine energy to the side as i got to know my feminine during this spiritual journey so it's like i had some insight and clarity that masculines didn't have excuse me but it's time to come together as a partner, it's time to come together and move forward on this partnership because it's time to build as a team. So when these offers coming in, it's because it's time to build as a team. And you may have ended one or said no to an offer because it wasn't who you wanted to build with as a team. Maybe it's a Leo who came forth with this offer. I don't know. But it's time to build. Ooh. Yep. Mm -hmm. Same old, same old, same old, same old, same old, same old. Competing for um, completion of your family. Com competition coming in to complete the family. We keep getting a story because it's a big, it's a big deal. Apparently, the spirit. This none of It's a big deal. Tom just told me to light this time. Pop those stick. This stick. You want to see what I'm doing? Let's see. But yeah, it's like um, 
it's time to build together. It's time to move forth on this offer. But it could, it's a lot of offers that's going to be coming into us. I mean, it's just a part of the journey, I guess. Um, and that series, Always a Witch, she had multiple offers as well. She had multiple people. You know, she had her love from her past. And she had the love from the future. <laughs> Maybe we're going to have loves from the past and loves from the future connected to our future coming towards us as well. Interesting. And they're competing to complete our family. They're competing for us, fighting for us, competing for us to complete the family. You're going to say no to one, though. I can see that. We're going to be ending some of them. Go ahead and save this. Let's see. Let's see if I can. Oh! Oh! That annoys me. The whole. I knew it was time for a new deck, but I kept doing that. Goodness. 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 Nice. 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 You knew it was time for a new deck. I was just talking to my. Um, I had just made a post about spirit. You know, again, I have messages and dreams. I, I communicate with spirits, people in spirit realms, dead and alive, who are, you know, not on earth and who are on earth. But anyway, and when I'm, by that I mean present in the body and who are not present in the body, people who I've passed. Anyway, they're so like, um, they aren't emotional like we are. They very straightforward communication. Like I've had messages from. Uh, if you've seen my video with Nipsey, um, the only time that I've seen any type of emotion is when I had that dream with Nipsey, and the next like he passed. The next morning, I woke up recalling a dream, and he had a lot of energy, a lot of adrenaline. It was adrenaline. It was. A lot of high energy and the drilling. That is the first time I've seen a spirit with high energy. Other than that, they're like very, they're in their power. They're very confident. They're authoritative. They're very informative. They're teaching you a lesson or teaching me a lesson in the dream. They don't have emotion. Like one time I was laying in bed and I was just really, really, really emotional. This was like a year ago, I think. But I'm, again, I've been on a spiritual journey for years, like literally walked off my, not walked off, but quit my job and pursued the spiritual pathway to success. Anyway, I've, I've lived in hotels. I've lived on, I slept on people's couches. You know, I went through so much. This time I was in my apartment in Georgia and laying on my bed and I was just tired. I was tired. Twin flame journey took a lot. Actually, was it this? I think my twin flame, me and the person who I thought my twin flame was, weren't coming together or he decided to be with, with someone else, a karmic or something. I don't even think she was a karmic or whatever. But anyway, it was hurtful to me. Not that he wanted to, you know, men don't hurt me. Like, I, I went through so much with my ex-husband that that didn't hurt me. What hurt me the most is, why, why did you tell me this was my twin flame spirit? Because I got a spiritual download that this was the person that I, I was my twin flame. So I'm like, am I, it, I started questioning, am I wrong? I started questioning the spiritual journey. I didn't trust spirit. And it hurt me to my core not to trust spirit because I love, I'm connected. Anyway, I was like feeling like living was just, it just felt like, what is this all, what is this for? Like, I didn't want to be here anymore it just felt like what is this life for if i can't trust spirit i can't trust people i can't trust spirit what is this for and i was just in my feelings and then anyway Nicki minaj spirit in the what you just watching Nicki minaj spirit came to me in a dream she was like and this is her spirit she was like you know you can die right and i'm like i'm chosen i'm protected and she just she looked and she just left. It was almost like she had the same attitude she has now, but it was like, it wasn't like, oh my God, everything's going to be okay. Like spirits are not like that. They're straightforward and they'll get, they're like, get your shit together type um, energies. Very straightforward teaching. Get out. This is stupid. Get out. Get your shit together kind of energy. I, I, I kind of love it though as a Libra. <laughs> what? Just watching. But yeah. I don't know why I went off on a tangent like that. Because I dropped these cards, I want to see if anything else comes out. Okay. 
and then I'll pull from another deck. Oh my goodness, come on. Feminine, still in this all tied up energy. Come on, we don't, we don't let the devil, we can't let the devil tie us up. Okay, yep, choosing to be single in action. So with the page of wands, the two of pentacles and a hermit, Again, feeling all tied up, not make, not taking action on this offers that comes in because it's an influx of competition and not choosing to be single. Choosing to be single. But you can't, it's like choosing to be single when it's time to build. It's time to come together with our twin flames. It's time to um, be one. It's time with our divine partners. But because of this influx of competition, you're feeling all tied up. And choosing to choosing to be single instead. Hey, it is what it is. That's the energy that Spirit is reading. I think Spirit is giving me this reading so much because maybe you know, personally I need to figure things out, or you know, some of you may need to figure things out about what we want and, and stick with it and know maybe we need to decide who we want now and, and it'll be manifested. Who knows? But I don't know if I want, I just can't, I just don't want to do that right now because, I mean, I know I wrote down what would make me, what I want in a partner, but it's just qualities. I already know, like, if certain people, if these specific people came forward and were fighting for me at the same time, it would be very hard for me to include the one, to include the one that I was told was my swim flame. To include, I, I mean, I no hard feelings. I don't have any hard feelings with him. So I just know that he would be perfect spirit for my spiritual brand he will be a perfect for it but the thing about it is the other guy is like he's evolved spiritually as well he would be perfect for it too and i feel like he's going through a transformation as well right now spirit told me that so it's like both of them are perfect only thing one is one would be perfect because he was religious too that's another reason why we didn't come together i'm not really i'm not in a religion anymore i'm more spiritual and he's religious. And so we bump heads on a lot of things because re religious people are closed-minded. They think their way or the highway don't, you know, I, as a spiritual person, you're open to learning from different ascended masters. I'm connected and I learn from the Jesus blueprint. I look at Jesus as a blueprint, not as a person, but as a blueprint. I look at myself as a person embodying Jesus, like, um, going through the path of God, seeking spirituality, following when it says follow leave behind and just follow me that's the path that i follow the spiritual pathway to success and i resonate that with jesus but i also resonated with um different i also resonate with buddha i also resonate with different spiritual beings i learned from them all i learned from taoism i learned from yin yang i learned from um soul and luna i learned from alchemy I learned from the book of shadows so i'm not closed to only christianity and i a lot of Christianity is misogynistic, and I'm anti-misogyny. So, you know, we would bump heads a lot, but I understand his fire for God, and I really respect that. So, I don't know. I don't know. It just depends on the energies that's coming at me, like who they are when they come at me. But this is, let's start pulling for the masculine. And I did not mean to have this reading be so long. But we're going to pull for the masculine. Okay, so for the masculine, ooh, child, oh, yes, okay, so when this is happening for the feminine, the masculine is manifesting this connection. The masculine is trying to manifest coming together with the feminine, planning, strategizing, because ready to be a part of the feminine's world, ready for the feminine to be, you know, for their worlds to come together manifesting this connection man how are we going to do it when are we going to do it why are we going to do it just trying to make it come together using his or her resources to manifest this connection with the feminine ready for the change in their worlds ready to merge their worlds come on light ready to merge their worlds and come together so while the feminine is going through this spiritual transformation is spiritually completing and offers are coming in and the influx and it's time for the feminine to move forward so listen while spirit is telling the feminine to move forward on this partnership the masculine is manifesting it having the urge and the need to manifest um 
the partnership with the feminine. Uh, at 30 minutes, I think I need to go ahead and save this. Reading is part one. Yep. Mm. The sun and the empress. This is the same thing. This is the same thing. Manifesting connection. I think this is more than a connection, though. It's almost like wanting to bear a son with the feminine, too. Like wanting to have a son with the feminine. With the empress and the son. Look at that baby on there. It's almost saying, like, ready to have kids with the feminine. A son, in particular. I don't know. Hmm, maybe the masculine wants to have kids with the feminine. I don't know. But manifesting and creating with the feminine in multiple forms. This could be kids, this could be projects, this could be ideas, but ready to manifest with the feminine. Ready to build. Had to save that. Anyway, so let's keep pulling. What is the masculine thinking about trying to manifest this connection? Are you trying to trap the feminine with a baby? <laughs> no, I could see myself having more kids. I would like a daughter, though. I have a, a wonderful son. I wouldn't mind having another son, too, but I, I want a daughter. Hmm. Temperance and the Two of Cups. Okay. All right. Okay. I feel like this is saying, okay, so we know the masculine. Now, the energies in my previous readings, the masculine is coming quick, trying to move quick. Clearly, if we're talking about having kids, soon as the masculine trying to manifest a connection and have kids with the feminine, you know. Um, but I think this is also saying that the masculine will be patient with the feminine, patient, patient with the connection. It's patience. It's like, slow down. Have patience. Maybe this could be the feminine telling the masculine, we can do that. We can have kids. Just imagine you complete a spiritual journey, like all of us. We complete these our spiritual journeys, thus all of us that are on this wavelength right now. We finally get blessings. We finally get the desires of our heart, and everything starts manifesting in our life, and then so a man comes in and wants to have a baby immediately. We might be like, mm, just got my body done, just lost the weight, just got my money up. Let's let's cool, let's let's pace this out. It could be just the feminine saying, pause. Let's make sure this connection is what it is. Let's let's relax a little bit. Yeah, but it's like having patience with the feminine or, or the feminine telling the masculine to have patience. But either way. Having patience as it pertains to this connection and coming together. That word patience again. I'll start crying, remember? At the beginning of this reading for this damn word patience. Having patience, but really, but willing to fight for it at the same time. Willing to put the work in. Willing to stand up for the feminine. Willing to stand up for him or herself because I want you. Like this is as the masculine speaking. Because I want you and I want to be with you, I'm willing to be patient about this connection and I'm willing to fight for you as well. It's like we've waited long enough. It's, we've, you know, been apart long enough. It's time to come together. I'm ready to manifest you. I'm ready to come together with you and I'm willing to fight for it. It's like, what happened here? Not letting nobody take away what they have. Not letting, um, I had to take this out. Look at that ring. Not letting it be taken away. Not letting the connection be um, stolen by the opposition. I want you. I'm ready to come together with you. I'm manifesting this connection. I'm being patient, though. Um, but I'm going to fight for it. I ain't going to let no competition take me out. That's a mess. Two of Pentacles, nine of Pentacles. Being patient, willing to fight for you while you make this decision. While the feminine makes this decision, the masculine is fighting, the masculine is being patient, the masculine is trying to manifest it. But feminine is still single, still choosing to be single.
Interesting. Hmm. What if this is happening now? I'm choosing to be single right now. You know what I told myself? You know, it was a discussion on Facebook. And I've been thinking about this for the past month anyway, month or so. And this guy wrote, you know, are you willing to date someone that you're not physically attracted to? And I um, have dated people who weren't very attractive, but they were attractive to me. And I liked who they were, so it made me attracted to them. But I cannot see myself just getting into something or just taking a leap. First of all, I don't know you that well personally, or if I do know you that well personally, and I'm not attracted to that either, and you really into me, and just, um, I cannot see myself just giving someone a chance that I'm not attracted to. It's like, I, you know, you, you, you can have someone you're attracted to. I'm not even going to put myself through that or make myself feel like I'm being wrong or I'm wrong for not taking an offer for someone I'm not physically attracted to. That was so random, but... Maybe somebody needs to hear that. You don't have to do that. It's not required. You can, there, and physical attraction doesn't even mean like the, it just means who you find physically attractive. It's your match, your physical match, as well as your vibrational match. Hmm. Okay. Page of Cups, Queen of Swords. Three of Pentacles. Choosing your divine partner. Choosing the offer um, that comes from your divine partner. Again, choosing to be single until you figure out and can make a clear decision and figure out with no if ands buts about it who your divine partner is. Because it's wanting to be together with the right person, not wanting to be fooled by the opposition, not wanting someone else to come in the way between your divine partnership, your twin flame. Wanting to choose your divine partner. Therefore, um, and it might require some faith. You may not have the full picture feminine. Yes, we are in tune with our higher self. Yes, we're about to complete spiritual cycles, but you may not have the full picture. Um, what is this? No, I was trying to huh? You may not have the full picture. Oh, and what's clouding your vision? We have the nine of wands and the star. What's clouding your vision is maybe you receive, maybe you're on a pedestal right now. And you receiving multiple offers because, again, you're on this, like, you completed your cycle and you're on this pedestal. You're on, people, multiple people are coming towards you because you are in alignment with your higher self. You are living well. You are doing good. You could be an actual star. But it's like overcoming this hurdle is a hurdle for you because being in the spotlight puts you in a position for multiple offers. So it's like... I don't want to just take any offer. I want my divine partner. So I'm not choosing any of them until I figure out who my divine partner is. But again, like like I said before, it's going to take some faith. We have the moon here. It's going to take some faith. It's not going to all be handed to us. We're going to have to go within our intuition. We're going to have to be in alignment and we're going to have to pray and meditate. But it's still going to take a little faith. And you know what? I'm giving myself permission to make the wrong decision. Not that I, I don't want to make the wrong decision, but if I do, it's okay. And it's so, it'll be, sorry, I made a mistake. The masculines have made mistakes and chosen other people during this path. So if you as a feminine make a mistake and choose someone else during this path and then decide, oh my God, I made the mistake, allow yourself to do that and then make and fix it. It won't take you as long as the masculine did. Like my reading's telling me, like coming together with someone in October, releasing in November, and coming back together in December. It could be a decision was made that was the wrong decision. But you know, we're going with them, we're doing the best we can. All you can do is the best you can. Make the best decision for you, do the best you can, and move forward with that and be okay with the results. What just dropped? The fool wanted to come out again. So I'll leave this up. Who do you hold on to? <laughs> um, making, taking the leap of faith of who to hold on to. I just said this. I just said this. I don't even have to repeat it from the cards. Who child? Sometimes the cards are the vessel and, and sends forth the message, but sometimes the message is already there and the cards confirm it. But with the four of pentacles and the fool, making a choice as it pertains to your faith. Um, 
Yep. Who to hold on to? You're going to have to have faith. You're going to have to have faith. And bottom of the deck, we have Two of Swords, Knight of Cups again. Offers time again. You're making a decision to say no or yes to some of them. So things are manifesting. Not to worry. Um, things are going to manifest as they should. Things are brewing. It's going to be intense. It's going to be fiery. It's going to be worth the wait. It's going to be worth the patience. We can get through these times that we're going through, potentially happening during Libra season, because that's what my readings have been saying, and that's what I'm expecting. If my reading, if it does not happen during Libra season, I'm gonna, me and Spirit are gonna have to have another heart to heart because my readings are saying Libra season is ringing for the blessings. Sermons, church sermons are saying a lot of people are feeling this energy that things are gonna start coming together and blessings and miracles manifesting during this season. So we're expecting it. We're going to remain patient. We're going to remain calm. We're not going to be in the energy of desperation, regardless of what situations we put ourselves in. And we're going to let it manifest naturally, as the incarnation card has told us. We're going to let it unfold naturally. Now, I'm not in a rush for this masculine energy um, so we're towards me like this, but I'm definitely ready for abundance and my imaginations and my ideas and my businesses and, and my purpose to flourish and my spiritual journey to complete this phase that I've been in for three, four years. Of course, I progress, but I'm ready. Anyway, thank you for watching this reading. Thank you for your comments. Let me shout some people out before I go. I don't know if you're still here for this long reading. I did not mean for it to be this long today. I've never done one this long like this. But thank you for your likes. Thank you for your subscribes. Thank you for your comments. Someone just commented on my reading. Do you have a degree for this shit or are you talking out your neck? LOL. I saw one about hustle. Now they all do this shit. Maybe they're just new material and they have questions about it no I do not have a degree in tarot you don't have a they don't teach us to follow our intuition that's what we have people like me for to help people align with their intuition and, and this is the times are changing anyway tarot is intuitive messages medium like messages no I didn't go to school for this my ancestors taught me in dreams yes you have to study tarot cards and understand what the meanings of them are but you also have to be in tune with your intuition because sometimes the message doesn't completely align with the card it could be the picture it could be anything so it's intuitive and no it is not a college for it brit love thank you for your reading i mean for your comment making sense oh this person's name is making sense telling me i'm going to be single for not agreeing with misogynistic standards well thank you for your comment anyway anyway maureena l thank you for your comment as well and Josh, do I don't agree with you either, but thank you for your comment. Anyway, thank you guys for your likes, subscribe, views, comments, shares. I really appreciate you. I wish you all love. I wish you all light. And I wish you more life. Peace. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to visit AshleyGillard.com. That's A-S-H-L-E-Y-G-U-I-L-L-A-R-D.com. To book a tarot reading, you can book a business reading for your business or business idea with an action plan where I'll detail exactly spiritual advice on what you need to make it a success. Or you can book a personal reading with any question that you may have. Again, thanks for your support. I wish you love. I wish you light. And I wish you more life. Peace.